Well, I appreciate you guys joining me today. Any any last words, Cheryl? I'd just say if there's any. Are you planning on killing her off? <laughs> Perfect time to you call. You know why? Because it's my last podcast. It's your last. <laughs> Perfect time. Hey, if you want to call anybody out about tech numbers. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your yeah. shot. Is there anybody out there that might be listening that needs to turn their tech number in, yeah. Cheryl? Well, I won't get specific. Uh, I'm Cheryl Feller, like you said, general manager. Uh, the title pretty much says it, just generally managing things that go on here, day-to-day -day stuff, things that interact with other companies, other people. Um, that's pretty much it. So you've, you're have you general manager here. You've been here for nine years and literally, but, you know, you're like, oh, I just manage the day-to-day -day things and, you know. She does everything, yeah, right? You yeah, know what I mean? It's like it's like if 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 Cheryl doesn't make sure that it gets done, it's like you know the wheel's gonna come off the bus. Yeah, I mean I, there have been and I've made jokes. There have been times where like Cheryl's out of the office and like the the printer fax machine like doesn't even turn on during the day. <laughs> yeah. Like when she turns, like it's on all day. Like I walk by and be like. Is that broke? Or, like, why isn't why isn't lighting up? Like, why isn't making any noise? But like, when Cheryl's here, it's like as soon as you walk in, something's yeah. on the printer, or the fax machine. Oh, I know, I know. So, so, but but uh, Cheryl is spectacular at logistics, and so she keeps logistically she keeps things just rolling around here. And so dealing with distributors, getting stuff shipped out. Then she's got to deal with all of all of this barrel of monkeys around here yep. and keeping us all straight. And so so we really appreciate that. But today, what we want to kind of discuss, and, uh, and and so one of the reasons why we got to pull Cheryl in is because we're going to talk about, about our AgriSure traits. And so, Kyle, I want you to kind of explain what those are. And then, Cheryl, I, I want you to kind of go through, because I know there's a lot of questions about the reporting aspect. You know, mm -hmm. people got to have tech numbers and all of these things and and um and you deal with that a lot yes. and and so what i i, I want to just kind of just kind of have a little trait discussion is what we want to do so so we go in and we and we, we we have a sales guy goes in he sells this he says this is the the hybrid that you need this is the trait package that you need and the, and the guy says oh yeah okay that's that's what i want i you know i need my i need my viptera and um, and I want to protect from above ground and below ground, and so he says that. And then the dealer hands him and says, "Well, I, I'm before I deliver your corn, I'm going to need to get your tech number, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. right?" And 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 so the you know the farmer's like, Hi, "What tech number? What mm -hmm. you know? What is that?" Cheryl, ex explain to us kind of this tech reporting, okay. this this tech number thing that that guys sometimes get kind of hung up on. Okay, it's. It's easier than everybody makes it out to be. It's really not that big of a deal. But because we signed an agreement with our trait provider, which is Syngenta, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we agree that we're going to follow their stewardship pro stewardship program. And their program is just one that's it's to help preserve the long-term value of our land. Right. And, and so we want to follow that. We want to be good stewards of the land. And we want to uh, we want to do we want to be what is the word I'm trying to think? We want to follow the EPA standards. Uh -huh. We want to be a good compliant. neighbor. Compliant. Compliant. Yeah. We want to be it. compliant. We want to be legal and compliant. That's right. And so um, we've signed that agreement, and then therefore what we're signing is that when we sell that corn, we're going to make sure that whoever gets it also knows and signs an agreement that says that they're going to also do that. Um, short piece of paper that you can sign. You can get online at Accelerate, and you can sign up online. Um and it's just, it's not, it's not difficult. It's just people I think are afraid of what am I signing? Right. And it basically is just saying that you're going to follow those standards. Right. Um, so now there, it, there is the possibility that, you know, if you sign it or if you get corn at all, someone can come to your farm, I guess, and make sure you're using it the correct way. Right. But if you've signed that agreement, you're saying you're going to use it the right way. So there's no problem there. Exactly. Um, and then, uh, but, that, but it's not a thing where they're trying to track who all's got no, it down, and they're gonna, no. you know, look spy on you, and they're gonna fly their planes over you and no. check on you. No, it, it's no. basically an agreement that says I'm gonna I'm gonna buy your trait, and yes. I'm gonna use it the way that that you prescribe, and the way that 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 EPA tells mm -hmm. me that I have to. That's right. Okay. Yep. And if you don't sign it, then you're not supposed to have have that at all. You right. know. 
And uh, so we just we follow that standard. We're pretty proud about the fact that we um, make sure that we're compliant each year. And, and not just because we want to tout how well we do right. that, but that we want to be a good, you know, a good neighbor. We want to be able to take care of our land and we want to honor our agreement with Syngenta, who gives us great, great traits. Thank you.